it already feels like there is a slight shift in momentum for Terra Luna Classic. 2023 could be and should be the biggest year yet since the collapse of this ecosystem. But we have built, we have ensured that our ducks are in order. And in my opinion, 2023, you're going to want to hold on to your hats because I think it's going to be massive. I want to talk a little bit about it in this video. An interesting article from Edward and Zaradar, and more importantly, the development and payment of our Layer 1 development team. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with everything going on with Terra Luna Classic as well as the rest of the cryptocurrency market and let's take a look what's going on so we have actually seen a new year's rally I'm just going to refresh the page but we're up 0.36 percent up at nearly 798 billion dollars you can see Bitcoin having a pretty nice ride up 0.36 on the 24 hour ETH starting to move a little bit but there are some taking a bit of a hit you can see XRP there down two percent on the week but overall the global market as we normally see a pullback uh, we are actually seeing a rally you can see that cardano nearly two percent polka dot 1.1 a a number of coins all having a pretty good first of january 2023 now does this signify a movement in the market i'm not sure but actually we are going into 2023 certainly better than we left 2022 as we move down the line you can see terra luna classic broke into the 15s if you were part of my live stream tonight we were all hoping that it would break it while we were live but it did break it just a couple of hours afterwards but you can see that 95 million dollars in terms of volume is now starting to go up as we see that sentiment shift with what's going on 906 million dollar market cap and you see a lot of people would say well why is the market cap down we've gone into the 15s and our market down remember we are deflating the supply and you can see that some pretty pretty big burns going through over the course of the last 24 hours now like we said 15085 we saw a massive run up onto the 15 threes this thing was absolutely going crazy as the rest of the market did pull back slightly but we'll have to see where we level out i think it's always good that we push up and hopefully we see then you can see it here look we did it here 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 and then we settle and we consolidate it sideways. So all of that to come. Now, taking a look into the article that we got from Tobias. Now, if you don't know who Tobias is, Zaradar, he's part of the Terra Classic Layer 1 Task Force. And I thought this was a very, very interesting article that he produced. Now, if you remember, both himself and Edward Kinn used to produce these Medium articles talking all about the development they were doing and all about how they were recovering the blockchain. Then it all went quiet. We saw the whole issue with Terra Rebels. We saw people leave. We saw the 150k community fund heist, and I think that's probably the best way to describe it. And now it feels like there's a shift. I saw the classic crypto demon monkey AMA, and I thought it was fantastic in terms of what they talked about, in particular, Zaradar and what he is bringing to the party with this. So it says, as I sit here on my mountain watching the sunrise in 2023, pondering the future of Terra Luna Classic Layer 1 Task Force, our community in general, and my personal dreams about splitting the cloud. I wanted to share with you my thoughts about our short-term future, why I think it's the right direction, and how I believe we can work towards maturing out of our adolescent phase and into something that is more mature and stable. So let me tell you a story. And I think it's a really good way to set this article up. And the phrase there, adolescent phase, is incredibly important in the sense of where we've come from and how quickly we did do that. And ultimately, a lot of people got on the train and expected to be millionaires and actually what we've now had to do is consolidate go through some of the tough times you always come out the other side stronger than when you go in and for me that's why it sets 2023 up as a very very strong year for terra luna classic i'm not going to go through the full article i will leave a link in the description so you can come and check it out for yourselves but ultimately it's talking about his views on it and there is some really key pullouts that i wanted to bring you in particular talks about the uh, partitioning of responsibilities allows organizations to tackle existential problems shared by everyone centralized or otherwise that aspires to progress up the evolutionary ladder from software collective to software factory a problem that was in my humble opinion best framed in a question by good people at spotify in charge of the backstage ecosystem which i had the pleasure of working with a few years ago what does he mean by that and i took away from this that ultimately this is about taking the big problem of how do we get rid of supply how do we bring decentralized applications on how do we unify the community and ultimately how do we get projects to want to pay us to use our fantastic ecosystem and ultimately it has to be broken down into small parts how do you an elephant one bite at a time and i think that's exactly what zaradar is making the point of on here 
talks a little bit about kind of mindset and i think that's incredibly important again as we kind of go through it. and there's a couple of other articles excuse me other paragraphs that i thought were very very relevant it talks about what forces upon developers are a need to transition back forth from their primary coding context and the organization's platform architecture which comes at a significant cost both in terms of productivity as well as the general mental health of developers in general the biological cpu starts fragmenting what does he mean by that well this is all the noise we've had with terror rebels his opinion his direction that he wanted to go was very much not aligned to the rest of them and ultimately a lot of these guys were working for free they weren't being paid and then the question of money comes money divides all and it can conquer everything and they didn't the question came up and actually the view that from edward kin and zaradar was well payment quantifies time so actually by paying them a salary 12 and a half k is what they've asked for that quantifies a full-time layer one developer on terra classic rather than just in their spare time now they have committed to that which tells me more about them than anything else and i think it's a really important point to reference and then he finishes the article off by saying here applying all of this context to which we find ourselves namely the terror classic network it's clear that in order for us to grow the network effect we need to start investing in our platform which thankfully we seem to be doing with the formation of the dedicated layer one team to work towards establishing healthy platform abstractions that enable us to minimize the complexity of building layer two apps on our layer one platform and attract new builders thus it is my intent to spend the next month working with the talented people of the layer one team to not only streamline the platform experience but also abstract away some of the complexity working with layer two at the point that anyone easily come on chain and build any type of decentralized application they can dream up and i think it's an incredibly important point we are going to simplify everything to maximize the building potential of anyone on our blockchain we already have the cheapest fees out there this is about bringing people in we have the funds to fund it we have the ambition to go and do it and again i bring back 2023 is going to be a big year for Luna Classic. I did just want to touch on this last bit, given all of that instead, and a lot of people still don't understand the actual payments that required for some of these layer one developers. These are articles that were out, you know, this came out four months ago, but this is ultimately what are we paying for Web3 layer one blockchain developers? Well, as a minimum, it's a 50,000 pounds, excuse me, $50,000 a year. The average is 100 and the maximum could potentially be 200 and forty thousand dollars working on solidity development salary so when we talk about people like zarada people like edward kim they ultimately have our best interests at heart they have the network best interests at heart and worked a significant length of time for free just think this they could go and get two hundred forty thousand dollars a year to do exactly the same thing why don't they because they see the insane potential with Terra Luna Classic and I hope you guys see the same that I do I think it's going to be a big year for Terra Luna Classic I think this the boat the tanker has moved slightly and we're ready and set to rock and roll and the price well the price certainly going into 2023 looks like it agrees let me know in the comments down below everything you think of 2023 what do you think our price predictions are for the end of the year as ever don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel we talk about cryptocurrency Luna Classic and everything else and I really appreciate you joining me on this journey into 2023 we are sending it big on this channel and in Terra Luna Classic thanks very much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one